Um, smashing roadsters at a thousand frames per second. <laughs> okay, uh, everybody here has been making things. I'm going to break a few things for you. These are videos that I don't normally show publicly. There's a lot of violence goes on here. There's a lot of explaining that needs to go on, but this is what it looks like. This is the difference between, let's say, a, somebody making a little three-wheel imaginary car that would never be safe on a highway. <laughs> So this is our very first video, uh, our, our very first uh, high-speed crash, 30 miles an hour into a concrete wall. And what we cared about, of course, was that the airbag opened. The G-forces on the driver were what we expected. The crumple zones worked as expected. The door still opened after the crash. But on this one, actually, what was more interesting was that when we analyzed the videos of this thing taken from all sides, here it is again from the top, the car behaved exactly as the computer models predicted. The back looks funny here. You see there's a bunch missing here. We took off the back trunk and a bunch of other gear on the back in order to put this piece of equipment that monitors the crash test dummies so the mass remained the same. Anybody who, by the way, doesn't think that airbags do much needs to watch a few of these videos and you realize that the airbags are freaking amazing. Okay, so this is a, this is a 30 mile an hour collision taken from the front and from the, from the top. There's also cameras in the bottom. I won't show you those. The next collision is an offset barrier crash. This is a, a, a 30 mile an hour, 30 degree offset, quite violent. You'll see the rear wheel of the car come in the air as it spins around. There we are, we're airborne now. And once again, both the, the driver and the passenger into the airbags, a fair amount of damage to the car. The G-forces on the, both of the passengers, they would have survived just fine. This is a successful test. You watch these things, uh, just a, a clue for you. These cars cost me about $350,000 a piece to build. And uh, each test is probably 100,000. This is a 30 mile an hour side impact. You don't have a lot of room to absorb energy. That's a truck driving at 30 miles an hour slammed into the side of the car. Uh, there's a little bit of plastic here. You can't really quite see it. There it is. That's the left front reflector light. It actually never moved. Watch it again. Watch this light right here. It never actually moves, <laughs> oddly. <laughs> It's just kind of hanging out there in space. You can see real time running if you can see this little counter at the bottom here. This is a very small uh, amount of time. Watch the compression on the tires, by the way. Here's the bottom. So this, this is, you can see the frame actually supported the car quite well as designed. The car survived, uh, uh, protected the passengers uh, as best you can with uh, only about, what, about 12 inches of room to absorb that energy. Uh, again, a successful test. Uh, so we've, uh, we've smashed about, um, about eight cars this way. This, this, is a, uh, this is a very special test. This is a truck. It's going now 50 miles an hour. Let's remember this. The energy of this crash is a lot more than the 30 mile an hour crashes you saw before. This is um, microseconds before that truck's gonna hit the car. All right, you guys wanna see it go? Here we go. That truck eats the car. Yeah, it's a lot of energy there. The, the passenger cell remains intact which is actually not strangely a requirement of this test. The truck is completely airborne, bearing down on this little car. And here's the thing, you turn it over and no dangerous liquids leaked out, but here's the, here's the, the killer. The battery pack remained intact. We broke the transmission in half, we smashed everything in the back of the car, and the battery system was, was intact, no dangerous voltages on the car, driver and passenger would have survived. So, I guess my comment is uh, car crash is fundamentally different than a software crash. <laughs> Thank you very much.